Hey everyone, what's up? This is a uh, tutorial for Sony Vegas on how to obviously get chroma key. If you don't know what that is, that's basically the green screen effect like Weatherman and people like that use. If you look behind me right now, there's actually, uh, you should see a, something in back there. I don't know what right now because when I film this, I actually have a picture behind me. I actually, I'm going to pause right now and right now you can see back there, I actually have a uh, blue, or no, not blue, purple blanket because I couldn't really find any blue or green ones. That's pretty cool is uh, some stuff you can do with this, like, you can uh, make really cool changing backgrounds, like, uh, I can go like this. I can make the, like, the battlefield back up and you get my startup. Or I can go like this and make, like, front lines for people or something behind me. It's like video games, for if you don't know. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. It's not that complicated. I'm going to be using Sony Vegas. This works with Studio 10, Studio 11, or Studio 12, Pinnacle, obviously. If anyone doesn't know what that is, you can search it on uh, Google or something. But right now I'm showing Sony Vegas, so anyone who has this, Sony Vegas, or has Sony Basic. I'm like, Vegas, excuse me, it should work for that. Um, so let's get started. Hey everyone, what's up? This is a tutorial for Sony Vegas. Um, I know you saw the intro, so you already know that. Uh, so first off, I'm just going to start by showing you the basic steps of how to use Chroma Keen. I've already rendered the track here. Excuse me that. Um, I've already rendered it. This is the video you watched in the beginning. And down here at the bottom, this was, um, if I can, yeah, this is about everything right here that it took. Yeah, I know it looks really complicated, but it's actually not that complicated if you just narrow it down to the basic steps and can chop it out piece by piece, basically, if you'd say it that way, I guess. So, let's get started. First off, um, let me delete this. The, uh, new track up here that's done okay let's just focus on this track down here now so you have the beginning you have a uh, actually I guess I'll just delete everything and completely restart just to show you how delete all the tracks all right here's everything I used for the project um so I didn't actually use this voiceover I was gonna but I didn't just because it wasn't like you could hear about a bunch of crumpling and stuff on the mic just whatever I don't know uh, it wasn't the best sound quality so first you like that's obviously the new track I just did we're not gonna need that yet till later maybe um so just first off this was the original video just drag this in and I had to decide when to start and everything obviously so started right about there just cut that right there split it cut that out of there now you got this so first off when you actually want to do chroma keen you're gonna have to drag the audio track down because you're gonna have to have a video track under it for uh, the um oh, this is gonna be the actual let me just duplicate this track delete that so this appears gonna be the video overlay track and this is gonna be the actual video and this is just gonna be overlaying over the video obviously that's why it's called overlay so First off, um, like, let me play it, and I talked, I know, uh, right when I started to turn around, that's when I was saying that, uh, I didn't know it was exactly behind me. So let's split it about there. Might not be exactly accurate. Here, let me just cut the video instead of the audio. So, that, actually, I have to, no matter what you think about that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, now you got that, and from there, you're gonna have this behind it actually I guess that's not where I cut it before I'll just cut it before where I had it originally actually never mind I'll just sorry about this uh, dang it I'm not trying to do that let me uh go forward to right where I start to talk okay there now it's good let's go to the part where I turn around out there so split that and now put this noise texture in here I don't need to edit it I guess or I guess I should I didn't think about that or no it's already edited what am I doing uh, that's it I just have that at 3.500 degrees and this at 0 degrees that's the progress excuse that sorry um, so now you got that let's just change the speed and make it a little longer but not like restart with that without looping the track we're just gonna 
change the uh, speed of the track so you can just control click and drag it that way guys if anyone doesn't know that you can obviously find that on youtube too but uh now you got that so people oh shoot i forgot the most important part you actually have to chroma key it but first but use i saw a grill do it and it his idea worked really well use medium blur on chrome blur and for chroma key you drag it in and um, before any of it's just you can click off chroma key and get the eyedropper tool and just drag the average color of the tarp or whatever blanket whatever you're using and then now turn chroma key back on and uh, you can see it's kind of messed up there we're gonna fix that mask actually really helps what you, let me uh, drag this out first because it's kind of messing it up with that in there okay now it's all black what you want to do is get the person or whatever you're having in the chroma key to be completely white and the background to be completely black at least as much as you can so about there get that all black. okay now let's see if we can get that any whiter shoot um okay i have to go a little actually i forgot one thing that's why it's messing up uh make try to Try to get rid of all the main dots. Like all those dots that will just mess up the video. About there. And you'll see uh, all this stuff over here is pixelated, kind of. Uh, I just forgot that uh, I think it showed part of wall or something in the video, and that's probably why, because it's something color over there. So it's slightly darker. Drag a little more there. Okay, good. Now that's all done. So now you can put this on here. Oh, and I forgot to turn off map. Um, so yeah, just basically make sure that whatever is chroma keyed is all white, and whatever the background or wherever the background is is all black. Try that, and when you turn it on, it should be perfect. And you notice if there's like, if it's really pixelated around the edges, you can use a little bit of blur. Don't do too much because if you do, it'll look really weird like that. Just blur to about there, and I think that's good. Let's see how it looks so far. There, it looks perfect. And um, one thing I did here is I dragged this up just because my camera had um the wrong way. My camera um had I think it was uh wi yeah my camera is widescreen I think format. I sh I might be able to change that. I'm not sure. But fix that about there so it doesn't look like you're floating in air. Close to that and now you got that part right there. And that's basically all you really have to do for everything else. I just showed you all the steps and everything else where I put in like Battlefield Bad Company and when I snap that's exactly what you have to do right there. If you have any questions or comments feel free to comment below or go ahead and message me. Um, I hope to see or hope that you watch another one of my tutorials that I should be making soon. Please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching guys.